Sister Wives star Cody Brown caught the attention of many after appearing in Christine's wedding special. He and his only remaining wife, Robin, had an interview following his ex-wife's nuptials with David Woolley. But later in the episode, Christine's father made a shocking statement, making viewers more upset about the Brown family patriarch. Keep reading to learn more about why Cody is getting called out. Sister Wives, Cody Brown's Shady Comments During the latest episode of Christine's wedding special, Cody shared his thoughts about his ex-wife's marriage. According to the Sister Wives star, he's fine and resolved that their relationship has ended. He later mentioned an accusation he had. But before he revealed it, he was immediately stopped by Robin. Aren't we just so happy for them? We're just so happy for them, right? That's what we want, she said. Cody later explained that he was supposed to say that he was happy she found her soulmate. Cody insisted he was happy for them, even though they were not invited. He also added that some of his relatives were invited to the wedding. I saw a wedding announcement at my sister's house, so it was kind of curious to me that some of my family had been invited to the wedding, he said though it seems that he let it slip and continued to cheer for his ex. Fans call out Cody for trying to win family members. Some Redditors are calling out Cody following Christine's scene with her father, Rex Allred. While they were hugging, Rex told Christine about a man who told him he was weeping and crying, saying, I've lost her. According to the poster, he was clearly referring to Cody and it seems he's trying to make some of his ex-wife's family take his side. Others agreed and speculated that Cody Brown may be trying to see who is still loyal to him following the downfall of the Brown family. But it seems that almost everyone went to his ex-wife's wedding and showed their support. Sister Wives, is Cody Brown scared of Christine's father? Some Reddit users from a different thread also recalled the time when Cody said that he couldn't go to Christine's father's church anymore due to embarrassment. According to the poster, it seems that the Sister Wives star is scared that he's going to be told off by the church for how he treated Christine, who is known for being A.V. royalty. Cody Brown and the former Sister Wives were also excommunicated from their church years ago. However, some think that the Wyoming native played a significant role in the strained reputation of the AUB following his nasty divorces. The second part of Christine Brown and David Woolley's wedding special will premiere on January 14, 2024. If you're looking for more Sister Wives news, come back to TV shows Ace for all your updates. The whispers of discontent had grown louder reverberating through the walls of the shared homes that housed his four wives. Mary's pursuit of individual happiness, Christine's desire for independence, Janelle's quest for stability, and Robin's concerns about the family's future, each voice added a layer of complexity to the already intricate tapestry of their polygamous lifestyle. Cody, always the stoic leader, found himself grappling with doubts and insecurities. The once unquestioned authority he held within the family was now being challenged, and he yearned for a way to gauge the loyalty of those he loved. In a desperate attempt to assert control and reaffirm his position, Cody devised a plan to test the loyalty of his wives. The family meetings, once a platform for open communication and shared decision-making, took on a different tone. Cody began subtly probing, asking questions that seemed innocent but carried the weight of scrutiny. He observed the reactions of his wives, looking for signs of unwavering loyalty or the cracks of dissent. Janelle, the pragmatic and level-headed wife, faced the first wave of Cody's loyalty test. As he posed questions about their shared future and the stability of their financial endeavors, Janelle met his gaze with unwavering determination. Her loyalty, rooted in years of partnership and shared responsibilities, shone through. Cody, reassured by her steadfast commitment, felt a momentary sense of relief. Next in line was Christine, the spirited and independent wife who had recently found her own path to happiness. Cody, sensing her newfound sense of self, probed deeper, 
questioning her commitment to the family unit. Christine, though momentarily taken aback, stood her ground. She expressed her loyalty not as an obligation but as a choice, a choice to be a part of the family on her terms. Cody, conflicted by her assertion of independence, registered her response with a mixture of frustration and admiration. Mary, the first wife whose journey of self-discovery had ignited the current familial unrest, faced a different kind of scrutiny. Cody, perhaps feeling a sense of betrayal, questioned the depth of her commitment. Mary, with a calm demeanor, explained that loyalty wasn't about blindly following, but about staying true to one's authentic self. Cody, unable to fully grasp the intricacies of her perspective, felt a growing divide between them. Robin, the newest addition to the family and Cody's legal wife, faced her own set of challenges. As Cody questioned the strength of their connection and her loyalty to the family, Robin, torn between her love for Cody and her concerns for their future, struggled to find the right words. Her loyalty, though evident, bore the weight of uncertainty and fear. As the loyalty tests unfolded, the atmosphere in the Brown family compound became increasingly tense. The once implicit trust that bound them together now hung by a fragile thread. Cody, driven by a desperate need to secure the unity of his family, failed to recognize the toll his actions were taking on the emotional well-being of his wives. The strain in their relationships became palpable, and the once unquestioned authority of Cody began to crumble. The loyalty tests, intended to strengthen the family bond, had instead laid bare the vulnerabilities and fractures within the intricate structure of their polygamous lifestyle. In the quiet moments of introspection, Cody found himself grappling with the consequences of his actions. The quest for loyalty had come at the expense of trust, leaving the family in a state of disarray. Cody, torn between the desire for control and the need for genuine connection, realized that loyalty could not be coerced. It had to be nurtured through mutual respect and understanding. As the realization dawned upon him, Cody called for a family meeting devoid of the tests and interrogations that had marked the previous gatherings. With a heavy heart, he acknowledged the toll his actions had taken on the family and expressed a genuine desire to rebuild trust. The wives, each carrying their own wounds from the loyalty tests, listened with a mix of skepticism and hope. The fragile threads of connection, frayed by doubt and insecurity, seemed on the brink of snapping. In the days that followed, the Brown family embarked on a journey of healing. Conversations flowed freely, and the shared goal of rebuilding trust became a guiding light. Cody, humbled by the resilience of his wives and the depth of their commitment, began to understand that loyalty wasn't a one-way street. It required reciprocity and a willingness to acknowledge the individual needs and desires that shaped each wife's journey. The loyalty tests, once a misguided attempt to shore up a crumbling foundation, became a turning point for the Brown family. Instead of driving them apart, the experience forced them to confront the vulnerabilities inherent in their polygamous lifestyle. It became a catalyst for open communication, empathy, and a renewed commitment to navigating the complexities of their relationships with understanding and compassion. As the winds of change swept through the Brown family compound once more, a sense of resilience took root. The loyalty that emerged from the crucible of uncertainty was no longer a forced allegiance, but a choice made willingly, grounded in a shared history and a collective determination to weather the storms together. In the end, Cody Brown discovered that true loyalty could only be earned through love, trust, and a genuine commitment to understanding the unique journeys of each wife in the intricate tapestry of their polygamous life.